So, it's been a hard day of work. And what do most people that drink alcohol typically do after a hard day of work? They take their shoes off, they put their feet up, and they pour a drink. This is all well and good, but what happens if you want to relax without alcohol? Well, today we're going to be looking into how to relax without drinking. Many drinkers believe that they need alcohol to help them wind down after a long day. They say that they use alcohol for stress relief and relaxation. But we're going to begin by exploring those beliefs in more detail. We'll look at what happens when people stop drinking alcohol. Then finally, we'll discover some practical tips on relaxing and de-stressing without it. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Leon Sylvester here. For those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. Just before we get into the video, I've actually put together a totally free training showing you the three biggest secrets that make stopping drinking effortless and enjoyable. You can get instant access to it by clicking the link in the description. Before I managed to successfully stop drinking, I had tried what everybody else told me that I should do. I tried willpower, I tried AA, and I tried moderating. But nothing worked. I always ended up back at square one. Well, guys, in the video below, you're going to learn about how willpower is not required to stop drinking. You'll learn about how stopping drinking is enjoyable, and you'll also learn how there's absolutely nothing wrong with your personality. So again, make sure to click the link in the description to get instant access to that video. So the first thing that we're going to look at is the stress relief routine. Now, after talking with hundreds of problem drinkers, the same reasons for drinking come up again and again. And to be entirely honest, stress relief and relaxation are two of the most common reasons given. So the typical scenario for a drinker might look something like this. Wake up hungover from the night before go through the ritual of regret and shame and vowing to yourself to never drink again. Have a quick shower, get ready for work, go to work. Skip breakfast because your stomach can't handle it. Just about manage to get through the morning on coffee alone. After that, the sickness starts to subside. Then you manage to eat half of your lunch. Then you get back to work. Now you can barely hold your focus on the task at hand. Stress slowly increases. Today feels like a bad day. Get home feeling pretty exhausted. When you get home, feel slightly agitated. By this point, you've forgotten how bad you felt in the morning. Pour a drink, and all of a sudden, the stress and agitation disappears. The drinker now feels relaxed. Now, after going through this typical routine of a drinker, the drinker is 100% convinced that it's the alcohol that is somehow helping him or her to relieve stress and relax. They think, I've had a stressful day of work, I deserve this. It's helping me calm down and relax. And in that brief moment of time, the stress disappears and the drinker truly feels peaceful. But what is really going on here? Does alcohol help with relaxation and stress relief? Now, the drinker in the above story may well have had like a legitimately stressful day. It might not have been exactly the same as that story, but it could be similar. The drinker may actually feel mentally or physically exhausted after a long day of work. Or maybe they weren't working. Maybe the drinker is experiencing a legitimately stressful time in their life for whatever reason. But at this point in time, we are missing a critical part of the equation. We first need to ask ourselves these questions. One, why would the drinker almost always turn to alcohol when there are plenty of other relaxation methods available to them? Two, why wouldn't the drinker occasionally use alcohol for stress relief, but also delve into, you know, regular yoga, meditation, massage as well to relax? Three, why is it almost always alcohol that needs to be consumed to relieve the stress? Well, we need to explore the other side of the equation. And to be honest, what I'm about to say may well surprise you. It's all about the craving. Most drinkers, they don't even realize that they have cravings. When I used to think of a craving, you know, I would imagine like a pretty hardcore drug addict who's like shaking and desperate for their next fix. And all they can think about is the drug. Or I might think of, you know, somebody begging on the streets and trying to get money to buy drugs. And because I had this clear idea in my mind of exactly what a craving was, like literally all of my cravings would go unnoticed. I didn't even realize I was craving something. Now, just for the record, guys, I'm not talking about withdrawal. That is a different thing. I'm talking about a craving. Alcohol cravings are very different from what we expect. They aren't like slap bang in your face. 
This is the exact reason people can drink for 20, 30, 40 years and still think that they don't have a problem. They still think that they can either take it or leave it. And this is totally ignoring the fact that they never leave it. And then they'll come up with the exact same excuses for drinking. It helps me relax. It helps me distress. Well, why is this? It's because the craving is almost imperceptible. It's not a burning desire where all you need to do is drink alcohol. It's more of this empty feeling, like, like a niggle. It's like this tiny little niggle that just never goes away. And all it feels like is that something is not quite right. It feels like there's something missing. So back to our story about the drinker who had just got home from the hard day of work and they were wanting to relax. Now, as soon as the character in our story drinks a drink, that feeling of discomfort disappears. They genuinely feel relaxed again. There is no doubt about it. But I'm sure you can figure out what's actually going on here. The drinker has some legitimate stress at work and gets through the stress without alcohol. However, once the drinker arrives home, there has now been a gap in between his last or her last drink. So they have that tiny, imperceptible feeling that something is not quite right. This feeling causes a tiny bit of stress, but it makes it very difficult to relax. If the drinker doesn't have a drink, they will feel discomfort. But the drinker drinks a drink and the feeling of discomfort then disappears. What's really going on here? Now, in the above instance, you have to realize that alcohol is not helping the drinker relax. In this instance, all alcohol does is relieve the craving caused by alcohol in the first place. So contrary to what most people say about alcohol relieving stress, we actually uncover that alcohol is a major cause of stress. It's a never ending cycle. Am I saying that your stress will immediately disappear if you stop drinking? Absolutely not. But what I am saying, on the other hand, is that stopping drinking makes relaxation much easier. And I'm talking about genuine relaxation. Why is that? It's because you're getting rid of the craving. You remove that constant nagging feeling that makes relaxation close to impossible in the first place. That means that once you've removed alcohol, you no longer need alcohol to relax you are able to genuinely relax without it. In other words, once the alcohol is gone, it becomes possible to use more traditional relaxation techniques. And these are techniques that actually calm you down after a challenging day and help you recharge. So the first step to relaxing without alcohol is to stop drinking it. Now, again, if you want to learn more about how to stop drinking, then do make sure to click the link in the description to get access to the free training that I mentioned. But for now, Let's talk about some real relaxation techniques once the alcohol is gone. Now, as mentioned, once the alcohol is gone, that doesn't mean that stress will immediately stop in your life. Stress is a legitimate part of everyday living. And for that reason, you need to have tools and techniques to deal with stress when it arises. The great thing is, once you have stopped drinking, stress and life in general just become much easier to deal with. I've heard countless people that have gotten sober using SoberClear saying that they feel as though life becomes much easier to handle. They say it's like a fog has been lifted from their eyes and they're just able to see things a lot clearer. So that means that normal jobs like work or caring for children, whilst still being stressful, just become more manageable so stress levels decrease. Relaxation, however, is still very important. Proper relaxation and stress relief can still be an excellent tool when trying to build a better life without alcohol. So guys, I wanna share three great ways to relax without alcohol and help you relieve stress. Whilst I could share normal things such as going for a walk, going for a massage, lighting incense, I want to try and remove the problem at its root. So to be honest, these three things might be a little bit different from what you're expecting, but I think if you apply these, you'll get a lot from it. So the very first thing on the list is meditation. Meditation is a fantastic practice to help you relax without alcohol. If, for example, you have had a stressful day at work and you arrive home and still feel stressed, meditation can benefit you massively. What meditation does is it brings awareness to the present moment. My personal meditation involves setting a timer for 10 or 20 minutes, closing my eyes and just focusing on my breath. Then what you'll find is that your mind will eventually drift off and you'll start having various thoughts. The trick to meditation is to allow these thoughts to enter your mind. You bring awareness to the thoughts, 
but try not to attach any emotions to them. You just accept them for what they are. They are simply thoughts. Then you let go of the thought and bring your awareness back to your breath. Now, I'll be honest, I'm probably not the most qualified person to teach meditation, so I recommend an app that you can download called Headspace. I think the first week or two weeks is free, and it's a great introduction to meditation. The next relaxation technique is journaling. Journaling is a great way to get your thoughts down and put them on paper. If you are able to organize your thoughts and you can just see them laid out in front of you, this can help you see things a lot more clearly. And this can be a great way to relieve stress. My personal technique for journaling just involves writing a full page as fast as possible. I just let ideas flow. If I don't know what to write, I literally start writing, I'm struggling to write today, but, and then I just let the ideas come from nowhere. It doesn't matter if it's gibberish or not. What I try is I don't allow the pen to come off the page. I just write quickly and I just put whatever is on my mind and it just gets put onto paper. I found journaling to be very effective if I'm dealing with a challenging period in my life. Seeing my thoughts on a page and being able to organize all the noise helps a lot with de-stressing. The final stress reliever is to plan your day. Probably not what you were expecting, but this is massive. Stress is often the accumulation of tasks. If you have high levels of stress, relaxation is challenging. So by properly planning your day, you're tackling stress at its root. You may have heard this before, but proper prior planning prevents poor performance. If you were able to plan your days and make time for the important tasks, stress levels can plummet. I like to plan my days in the evening and then write down everything that I have to do. And I like to write out the times for each task. For example, 9 till 11.30, write this video script. And then 11.30 to 12.30, film the video. 12.30 to 1.30, go for lunch. You get the point. So I like to break things down into specific times. Having a clear plan for the day and being able to organize time helps me relieve stress massively. So guys, if you want to learn more about my story, click the video on the screen now. Or if you want to learn more about the benefits I found stopping drinking, then click the video on the screen now. Thank you.